search for two missing teens grows desperate tonight. Friends and family are gathering for a comfort and support. They held a vigil in Livonia tonight, and that's where 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonavich joins us live from Julian. That had to have been an emotional few moments tonight for you. Uh, very emotional, Stephen, indeed. In fact, this is the high school, Churchill High School in Livonia, where both of these boys attended. One of them graduated last year, another expected to be a senior this coming fall. We talked with a lot of their friends and family, including one woman who said she talked with them last before they disappeared. How many angels can we get involved in this situation? About 200 people answered that call and showed up at the vigil for the missing teens. Sheer faith. I am going to bring my son home because there's no other choice. I don't even know what to say. It's tumbling. It's, um, it does give you extra hope and energy. And I really appreciate that. 17 year old Jordan Bobish and 18 year old Jacob Kudla vanished Sunday night after leaving Jacob's uncle's home on Detroit's east side. I miss my brother. I just want him to come home. He's like my best friend. The boys had been driving Jacob's white Chevy Cavalier. Police found two men stripping it and sources say washing it down next to this apartment building on Detroit's west side. No sign of the two friends except for a cane that Jacob used for an old injury. His uncle told 7 Action News he had given him something for the pain. It's scary. It really, really is. Friend Amanda Yancey says Jordan planned to come to her home before he disappeared. They spoke at 11.08 Sunday night. He answered the phone like normal Jordan was and uh, never showed up. She says he didn't sound like anything was wrong. The detective said they were just going through his phone calling the last people he's talked to. Police arrested the two men caught stripping the car, calling them persons of interest, but so far say they are cooperating. And family members say they won't stop searching until their boys are found. Even when I'm handing out flyers in the scariest neighborhoods in the world, the people are so warm. It's just, you know, they're rooting for you, they're looking for you, you know, we just need a tip. And Jacob's uncle was out here tonight at the vigil. Earlier in the day, he had gone to the police station. Police asked him to come in. They questioned him, asked him a couple of times about, again, what happened the last time that he saw them. He said they also showed him several photographs of men asking if he recognized any of them. Also, Crime Stoppers has put up a $25,000 tip for the return of these boys. If anybody has any information leading to the arrest or return of them. We're live in Livonia. Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.